Jay, you're home, baby. See, motherfuckers love you, baby. They love your heart. They love your heart. This is our best round. I'm gonna take this This is our sharpest round right now. He doesn't come forward without getting hit with something. I don't want you chasing. I want you smart. Chop his leg up. Hey, he hasn't been here before. We have. I went in this fucking round. No question. Championship round. This yep. shit is yours. I got this you. yours. This motherfucker ain't got shit on you. Got you. Let's got go. You. Last Ooh, round. Baby. Everything you got. Quick, get a close up on one. Get that bear, get that bear trap. <laughs> Slow mo. <laughs> no. So athletic. Oh, so hot. <laughs> Did you go slow mo on that? <laughs> so hot. Last time my fight week wasn't a recovery week. It was more like kill myself week. And right now I just like super easy. You know, like should I get to recover? Chilling, hanging out with the guys. Last time it was just like, fuck, I hope I make the weight, you know? Sorry. The pool workout's always the worst. I hate them. That's why seal training would be hard for me to be all like the, the lack of sleep and the water stuff. Yeah. Like I'm like horrible without sleep. Yeah. I'm very bad. My body was shut, shut off. Like yeah. if I'm just hanging out and just then we're just sleeping. like, yeah, say, I'll just like fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna go eat my last meal. Nope. Last supper. <laughs> Everybody, you need to eat up and uh, the will be ready for you. Okay, sounds good. Cool. Hang on a second, I'll get Scott in the line here and uh, we roll. All right, Scott, you are on the line with TJ. Hey, TJ, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you? So, here's something I wanted to clear up with you. I'm sure most people who are going to watch this know you, you were uh, busted for EPO usage. You got a two-year suspension. Uh, you've had a lot of nights to think about this. Do, do you take away gains from the whole experience? Do you regret it? Do you feel you disrespected the sport by doing what you did? I guess my question is, why is it you resorted to EPO? From the beginning, I always thought that I'd be like, I've already done an interview. Just check out the whole interview. All right, next question, you know, but they all want their headlines. I made the mistake, I gotta pay for it now, this is my payment. I mean, the suspension's your punishment, the fine is your punishment, but also the ridicule and dealing with the aftermath of it, you know, just creating your name is punishment, right? That makes people not want to do it, so. And do a good job of it. Can you expect that there's a point where we can kind of past this conversation with you, or I mean, is this something that really- I mean, I'm already past it, you're the, you're the one bringing it up. <laughs> I'm past it already. I always appreciate your time, TJ, and uh, looking forward to seeing you compete once again this weekend. Thank you very much, man. Bye-bye. Bye. Ah, oh, they say the easiest for last. That was a fast one. That was nice. I'm done. I think. Shit, media yesterday was a lot of, like, a lot of the same questions because it's TJ. I try to have a good attitude about everything. I understand that, like, um, the media has to kind of sell the fight. All that really matters is, you know, that day of the fight and those couple hours before the fight, being in the arena, and of course the fight. Those are the really important parts to be 100% completely focused. The only thing that really talks is winning. And if you don't come out with a win, it kind of feels like it was just all a big waste. That was good. That was probably exactly what it's going to feel like. Yeah, I try to make those, because I know he's going to do those hard feints from a distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he uses those to go. Yeah, yeah. But it, initially, he just does that. Yeah. Yeah, those feints hard as hell. I feel like if I just sit there, you're going to pick me apart. Yeah. So I have to, like, yeah. get to you. You yeah. know, that's how everybody feels. They got to get to you. Uh -huh. And I think that when you're moving, like, it still feels like risky. Uh, going to the hot tub? Yeah. Right. You guys gonna? Yeah, I'll come. Okay. This is like a big outing for us. <laughs> <laughs> us too. Don't, don't cut it short. <laughs> come on. Glad we did that tonight. The workout? Like, yeah, like yeah. that type of pressure. Yeah. The wall. Uh huh. Me too. Me too.
they've been showing all his fights and shit, and just a lot lately. And, and I've been wanting to like just do that anyways. Uh, it was like good for as far as like understanding the strategy. Yeah, for sure. Because like if he does just try to pin me like that, mm -hmm. like, I'm not gonna fucking duck and chuck some bombs. No, no. no. I'll jump on him, but his paint's really good. Yeah. It's all dark. Yeah. And then once he's worried about the dark or getting frustrated with the back and forth, then I'll just fit in on his leg. Yeah. That's a great idea. It doesn't look like much, but he's getting a workout in it right now, like having to hold the machine and breathe and like try to fully expand your lungs. So as you do it more and more, the fatigue starts kicking in and it's like a fight. Your hands start to drop, things like that. If you keep the right posture and he's breathing, his chest is out and he's activating the lungs, that's where he's gonna find the most benefits using this. So that's why this, this workout's good for us to utilize whenever we can. Oh yeah. I'm going through, uh, I'm going through my notes because I don't have a lot to cut today. Um, and I've kept track of pretty much the last, probably like 10 weight cuts that I've done. It's just one of those tools that I have just for that. I don't have to really stress any more than I already have to this week. Well, that's good to teach you how I Looks like I'm weak, Doc. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hope I didn't just jinx you. Come on, motherfucker. You got sweaty undies on. Point five. You got sweaty undies on, so we'll check. Sorry, ladies. I got your back. 36.2 and I'm wet, so I'm good. I'll float till we get there. Sounds good. Yeah, just have all your venom stuff on. Say again. Have all your venom on. I want to hear your accent again. Venom? <laughs> I didn't know I said venom with an accent. All your gear? Yeah, venom yeah, yeah, you go venom all your gear. You got all your gear. You got venom gear on? Uh, yeah. I told him he cut weight and he get down to 36. It's like your ass disappears. <laughs> He's like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> I never noticed that part, Banks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a booty guy. Yeah, Banks, you know what I'm saying? Nice. All right, okay. Perfect. Man, that was easy today. Holy shit. And our main event, five rounds in the bantamweight division. The former champion, TJ Dillashaw. Takes on second ranked Corey Sandhagen. 136. Official weight 136 pounds for Corey Sandhagen. Right over here. Stay still to the weight. One in the look at me. 136. Officially 136 pounds for TJ Dillashaw. TJ Dillashaw and Tori Sandhagen, five rounds in our main event tomorrow night. We'll see you on ESPN. I was expecting him to talk shit. So expected that. So, I think he wanted to. That was the plan, you know, the way he was kind of building stuff up. And he normally does. Shake my hand and say, good to see you. I was like, yeah. You know it's not. Whatever, I won't read into it. He's still going to try to fuck me up tomorrow. Eight. <laughs> hey, buddy. What are you guys doing? Just hanging out. You look like yourself again. You feeling good? My face is back, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah you my... look healthy. You look good. Yeah. Yeah, I feel good. I feel great. Oh. That's good. 
Don't bite the table. <laughs> You're gonna hurt your teeth. Doing, you're crazy. Uh, your shadow boxing you've been practicing. Let me see your shadow boxing. Get right there and do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fast, fast hands, hands, fast hands, fast hands. So good. <laughs> That's so good fast. shadow boxing, buddy. That's some fast hands. Okay, well, I'm going to eat some food. I'll give you guys a call later tonight. Okay, what do you want to say? Poopy bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He's really on his Best behavior for this phone call. He's doing everything he knows you like, all the naughty stuff. <laughs> he does all the naughty stuff to make me laugh. Yes. Well, I'm gonna eat and I'll call you guys. Love you too. Okay. Bronson, you wanna say bye bye? Bye bye, Poopy Bunny. <laughs> see, see you soon, Big Baboon. Yeah. Poopy Bunny, Poopy Bunny. Okay, that's not what I want. Okay. <laughs> She's like, that's not what I want on TV. All right, I love you. <laughs> what a road it's been for TJ Dillashaw. A road back that began in January of 2019. Bang! Former Bantamweight King returns two and a half years after last appearing in the Octagon. He is back to make a statement. Second ranked Bantamweight contender Corey Sandhagen, who has been nearly flawless since bursting into the UFC. He said his goal is to take away all of the arguments that anybody else belongs to fight for the belt next. No bigger challenge in his career than tonight. Big fight feel here in Las Vegas. These guys are ready. Sandhagen versus Dillashaw. And we have arrived at tonight's main event. They both seem real locked in. Dillashaw right away puts him on his heels. Yes! Yes! Oh, my knee! He cut the nose with that knee. Yep, cut on the bridge of the nose of Dillashaw. You got a triangle, but don't squeeze too hard. That reverse triangle's tight. That's real tight. Dillashaw's in trouble here. Climb the fence. Stand up. There, you're almost there, TJ. Oh, good. Good. Take your time. Now Dillashaw with the pressure. Sandhagen gives the back, but returns to his feet. Yep. Watch him when he breaks. He's going to try to hit off the break. Get an elbow, TJ. Yes. yes. Oh, nice left hand lands. Pressure from Dillashaw. Hammer fist when you're ready. Crank it, kick. Big shots. Final seconds of round one, and they'll spend it in the clinch. I need some flavor. I need some burrs. I need some flavor, OK? We're not in a rush. Let's make him really earn it. Okay. I like the rolls, okay. but let's make him earn it. Okay. Earn the takedowns, okay. and then we do it. Okay. Stay in your age, sharp on the feet. You don't need to try to hurt him. Southpaw, there it is. Have fun out there, buddy. TJ Dillashaw immediately forces the pressure once again. There it is. Pull and jump forward. That was a real nice transition there by Dillashaw. He's feeling out that knee when he does that jump right now. He's trying to see what's going on with yeah, it. It doesn't is. feel right to him. Mm -hmm. I think his knee might be hurt. You see it, you see it, yes, again. You see that? Yes, Corey. That was a beautiful one, too, by San Hagen. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yes! Oh, San Hagen's down with that one. How about Dillashaw scrambling? He's hurt. Oh! oh. He's dictated the range now. He's found TJ's range. Dillashaw's been busted open. Oh, he's got TJ open. Man. Stop. Time. Oh, so much so that Herb Dean wants a doctor to come in and look at the cut. Oh, that's okay. a bad spot for the yeah, cut. that's the worst spot. You got a free hit, good. Yeah. We can keep going through that. Of course we can. Okay. 
The jab and the left hook of Sanhagen will be there all night. Keep that motion. He's going to get desperate. We got to get me. Stay sharp. Sanhagen's looking for the perfect counter shot right now, and you can see it. Oh, another flying knee from Sanhagen. Follows it up with an elbow and a combination. The vision's compromised with that blood dripping in. That ain't shit. That's a big elbow. Sanhagen breaks away, and there's the horn. We're getting lazy once we throw overthrown and hanging out. We need quick returns and bring your feet. The brows are there, but let's not fucking lunge it. Let's make it quick. How are we doing here with this? That's all right. Keep take, chopping at him. Keep chopping him down. He only can take it so much. Let's fight. The blood the eye sucks. Every time the blood goes in your eye, it's just like this burning sensation. And on top of that, you're also thinking, I got to get in there and finish this because the ref could stop this at any moment. So you tend to rush a little bit, and then that creates openings for your opponent. Yes! yes. Beautiful! Yes. Ah. Yes. Yes. Higgin looks the best when he stays fundamentally sharp. When he sticks to the fundamentals, he's picking apart TJ Dillshaw. When he gets flashy, TJ's able to wrestle him and get to these dominant positions here and there. Dillshaw is gaining control. It looks good to the judges. Throw knees from there. Make it work. Neck and neck here in round number three. Hammering away in the final seconds is Dillashaw. Oh, and that one was late. Hey, fuck, motherfucker. I'll fucking punch you off the bell, motherfucker. Watch your time, motherfucker. Oh. Nice timing on the takedown there. To create that clinch right when Sanhagen comes in is key. And these are the championship rounds I was talking about. You have to be tactical and smart. And Dillashaw's been there. He will not fall victim to the moment. Thank you. Again, again, and again, and again. Big swing and a spin while the Dillashaw. <laughs> See, motherfuckers love you, baby. They love your heart. He hasn't been here before. We have. Deep breath. I don't want you chasing. I want you smart. Chop his leg up, okay? Championship round. This shit is yours. I got yours. This motherfucker ain't got shit on you. Let's go. I think it's going to come down to this fifth round. Anybody's guess what the scorecards are? The tension is thick in the UFC apex tonight. Any questions anybody had about Corey Sanhagen's ability to fight at the championship level and in the championship rounds have been answered tonight. Also, ring rust does not exist. <laughs> this is your time, Corey! Fuck him! The cut appears to be bothering Dillashaw once again as it reopens. Won't hold him back, though. Dillashaw, the aggressor. Nice counter from Sanhagen. has become a coin play. I mean, yeah, absolutely. And the damage on the face of Dillashaw does not tell the whole story. Oh, nice body shot. Sanhagen get busier. Crowds on their feet. Dillashaw lands another big one. Swinging to oh, the nice. final horn. Sanhagen thinks he got one on him there. And they go the distance. I mean, man, what a fight. That is the highest level of mixed martial arts you are ever going to witness. I won that shit. You won that shit, for sure. Welcome back, baby. That was a hard one, yep. I get it? Yeah, I think so. Good job, both of you. Good job. <laughs> Fuck you! Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. 48-47, Sandhagen. 48-47, Dillashaw. 48-47, for the winner by split decision, TJ Dillashaw!
Hell of a comeback, baby. Let me see that eye. Let me see that eye. Good shit, baby. Good camp, baby. Good two year or two and a half year camp. I forgot to say I wanted to fight my knees. Fuck. Yeah, I know. I'm not telling anybody. Did it look like the shots were hitting me hard? No. I didn't feel like they were hitting me. Like they were raising me. Just keep it going. They're just not seeing what's happening on the exchange. You're backing away, but you're landing the shots. You're landing all the shots. You have a little adrenaline jump from the first T-shirt? Oh, I'll give you a little bit. Yeah. It's more like working on my knee. Yeah. I fucked my knee up. Yeah. What's the emotion like for you right now to, to finally have a win after two and a half years away? Um, it feels good, man. It's expected, though. You have to expect it, right? You have to believe it. You have to see it. Uh, it was a tough fought fight, though, you know? Um, push the pace, and uh, I want to make sure everyone knew that I saw that cardio. Did anything feel different? Was it unique, or did it just feel like, you know, back in the title runs, that sort of thing? Uh, a little bit of both, right? Like, uh, felt normal, but also a little extra nervous, right? I tried to hide that. I tried to say, like, nah, no worries. I like to nervous, this is good, but not a little extra nervous. For me, that fight was a little lazy. I'm happy with the performance, right? I got the win. Um, I did what I had to do to get the win, but I could be better. I just broke those first two rounds up, man. I made the right adjustments, bro. You did. I thought and I made the right adjustments. I, I want to see the numbers. I was hard. I know that like, again there. I was trying to get, I was trying to break him, man. The grip was breaking. I could feel it. It was yeah. just taking me a little bit. Yeah. And then when I got it, boom, I was turning, I and I was off every punch. single time towards the Stats. end. I just, yeah. and, then he's, and he's getting hurt with almost every one of those shots. It's the control. That's what won him the fight. It had to be. It had to be. And it's like you said, it wasn't, you, you got out eventually. But we got to get out sooner. Yeah, we learned. We definitely yeah, that's learned. That's the truth, man. We it's definitely like, learned from those right. things. Yeah. You fought a great fight, bro. It, it, it's, you didn't, it, you fought a great fight. Oh, that's shit. I know, man. Dude, I was hitting him and like wobbling him, and he'd be like, that's, that's nice. Yeah, I saw him. Dude, he was fucking eating my shots, bro. Yeah. I had him wobbled so many times. Yeah. And almost every shot you were hitting with him it was freezing me. God damn it. God damn it. Oh shit, my cut was bad, bro. Very. Oh, he was thick, dude. Very. I got the whole Look at the this other one. pictures in uh, the this one is That might be my bone. I was looking at your Instagram post. Look at this. This is the video of him like cleaning hey. it, pulling the flap back. But Bro, I'm so glad they didn't stop it. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I couldn't see it. shit. No, when I... Let me zoom in for you. Yeah, bro. That's why I couldn't see. <laughs> I'm worried about my knee before my knife. Fuck yeah. That. I'm down. That's legit. Khabib was like, just sent a tweet out. TJ versus Young 2022. Oh, I said, no, that shit has to be in LA. In Russia, Russia. You can't get better experience than you got tonight. Five rounds with the former champ, you know. It's, a, it's like a weird feeling. Yeah. Like losing is a great feeling that you didn't really lose. So, yeah, that's fucking cool. Like you said, bro, the plan doesn't change, man. Yeah, bro. I'm still gonna be the fucking champ. No question. No question. Oh, yeah! Look at that. That's fucking ridiculous. Oh, man. You have the highest highs and the lowest lows in this sport. Even when I'm not at my best, even when I'm injured, I'm still able to win the fight. You never count me out. I feel like it was a good way to come back, you know, show everyone my heart.